On behalf of my colleagues at the High Commission, we are really delighted to welcome all of you to this evening's welcome dinner. Government to government, Tanzania and Uganda have been talking for quite some time, but uh, we haven't been able to bring together the private sector. And uh, we thought that it is prudent to, in the margin of the J Joint Permanent Commission, which uh, is the third one we are, we are having now, uh, we should bring together the private sector of Uganda and private sector of Tanzania to have what we call a joint business forum. So I'm delighted to know that uh, the United Republic of Tanzania have the same policy as we do, and we are very keen and ready to assist, improve envir environments for investment and facilitation of trade between our two countries. Um, East Africa is blessed that we trade amongst each other the largest, I think it's about 30% in the East African community. The trade between Uganda and the United Republic of Tanzania has been growing. It started, I think, by 2004, it was only $27 million. It grew to about $150 million per annum up to 2008. Now we are close to $400 million and beyond. Trade was growing at about three times GDP growth globally. So trade was growing at 12%. GDP growth globally was growing at 3%, so about four times. government was looking at business as a group of people who are just making money for themselves is long gone and past. We are partners in development and I think any sensible government must know that without a viable private sector and a vibrant business uh, environment, that government is doomed to fail in whatever its endeavors are. And I think initiatives like this that Richard is championing putting people in the room, getting the private sector and the public sector to have a discussion and really unblock issues. I cannot really emphasize how important that is. So I would like to register our much appreciation for the private sector sponsors from both Tanzania and Uganda. You have done quite a wonderful job and without you this event could have not uh, taken place.